this is Teacher Malu and welcome back again sa Math Habit. Okay, so ang pag-aaralan naman natin in this video is graphing linear equation using slope and y-intercept. Okay, so bago tayo mag-graph, uh, meron uh, muna tayong dapat tandaan about sa ating slope at saka sa ating line. Okay, so again, ang ating slope-intercept form is y is equal to mx plus B. Yung ating M, yung ating slope, and yung ating B is yung ating y-intercept. Okay. So, kapag ang given equation, kapag ang slope sa given equation is positive, ang line natin should be pointing upward to right. Kailangan ganito siya. Pag ganyan yung ating line, kapag ang ating slope is positive. Yung value ng slope natin is positive. Okay. So, okay, ibig sabihin nun, increasing yung uh, line. Okay? Then, kapag naman given na slope, <coughs> excuse me, na slope natin is negative, okay, so, ang line natin is pointing downward to right. Pag ganto dapat yung ating line, downward to right. Okay, so, ang trend niya, it is decreasing. While naman kung ang slope natin ay 0, o ang value ng slope natin ay 0, ang line natin is horizontal. Ganyan lang siya. Since wala tayong slope, horizontal yung ating line. And kapag naman yung ating uh, slope is undefined, okay, so wala, hindi nakalagay ang slope, so ang ating line is vertical. O, yan. Yung kanyang uh, trend is undefined. Okay? So, yun yung dapat natin tandaan kapag bago tayo uh, mag-graph ng linear equation using slope and y-intercept. So, ito na yung mga hint natin. Kapag ang slope natin is positive, dapat yung ating line is pointing upward to right. Kapag naman uh, negative, dapat pointing downward to right. Pag zero yung ating slope, it should be horizontal. And kapag naman undefined yung ating uh, slope, Kailangan yung line natin is vertical. So, ito yung mga key uh, para sa ating graph. Okay, so ngayon, mag-graph na tayo. So, meron tayo ditong given na y is equal to 2 third x plus 1. Okay, since naka-slope intercept form na siya, i-identify na lang natin ang kanyang slope at ang kanyang y-intercept. Okay, so ang slope niya is equal to 2 third. Okay, so in graphing, uh, i-identify natin yung rise at ra ng ating slope. So, itong numerator natin, ito ang rise ng ating uh, graph at ito naman yung ating run. So, ang slope natin is rise over run or two-third. And then, yung ating B or y-intercept is positive one. Okay, so in graphing, unahin natin hanapin yung point ng y-intercept which is 1. So, ito yung ating y-intercept. So, positive 1. So, ito yung ating b. y-intercept. Okay. So, para makuha natin yung slope, magra-rise tayo. Since positive siya, so magra-rise tayo ng dalawa. So, we have here 1, 2. And then, magra-run tayo going to right ng tatlo. So, 1, 2, 3. Ito yung isa natin na point. Okay, so ito, katapat dapat siya ng 3. Here. Okay, na-identify na natin yung mga points. So, ngayon, i-graph na natin siya. Ito siya. Here. So, let's graph the two points we have here. This one. So, this line is our y is equal to 2 third x plus 1. Okay, so let's check. So, ang slope niya is positive, kaya siya increasing or yung point niya is going upward to the right. Okay? Okay, so let's have another example. We have here y is equal to uh, 3x minus 2. Okay, so ang ating slope, m. This one, and this is our uh, y-intercept. 
ang m natin is 3, okay? So, C, ito ang ating rise. So, paano pag kaganyan, ano ang magiging run natin? Okay, so kung hindi fraction yung slope natin, uh, meron tayo dito na 1 as its run. Okay, so magiging 3 over 1 yung ating slope or rise over run. And then yung ating B is negative 2. Okay, now let's plot. Unahin natin yung ating y-intercept. So, we have here negative 2. So, ito yung point. Negative 2. And then, yung another point natin is, uh, slope natin is, rise natin is 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay? And then, run natin is isa. So, this one oh, here. Na ito yung ating slope. Kung igagrap na natin siya, yan to ang magiging itsura niya. Okay? So, here. So, ito yung ating equation, linear equation, y is equal to 3x minus 2. Again, ang ating slope is positive, kaya siya ay pointing upward to the right. Okay, so let's have another example. Okay, so for our example number 3, we have here y is equal to negative uh, 5x minus 2. Okay, let's identify first the slope. The slope is equal to negative 5 over 1. So, this is our uh, rise over run. And then, our y-intercept is equal to negative 2. Okay, so what if naman kung ating, ang slope natin is negative value? Okay, so unahin natin yung ating y-intercept which is negative 2. So, ito yung ating point, negative 2. And then, yung rise over run natin. This one, so uh, 5, we have 5, mag rise tayo ng 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so ito yung 5. And since negative siya, kanina, nung positive yung ating slope, going to right tayo. So ngayon naman, since negative siya, since negative yung slope natin, going to the left tayo, okay? So mag run tayo ng 1, going to the left. So, one, again, it will rise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then run going to left since siya ay negative. So, ito siya. Katapat siya na. Ito. So, ito yung magiging point natin. So, kung igagrap natin siya, ito na yung magiging itsura niya. Okay? So, yan. Ito ang graph ng ating y is equal to negative 5x minus 2. Okay, so as you can see, since ang slope natin is negative, yung ating graph is uh, pointing downward to the right or decreasing. Okay? So let's have another example. Okay, so we have linear equation here. y is equal to uh, negative 2 third plus 6. Okay, ang slope natin is negative negative 2 third which is our rise over run and yung ating uh, y intercept is positive 6 okay plot natin yung ating uh, y intercept so we have positive 6 here okay and then yung ating slope which is negative 2 over 3 so mag rise tayo ng 2 okay mag rise pa pala tayo ng 2 here so dagdagan natin 7 8 okay so, 6, 7, 8. So, rise tayo ng dalawa, 1, 2, and then run tayo ng tatlo. Since negative siya, going to the left tayo. Papunta tayo sa left. So, 1, 2, 3. Dapat katapat siya nitong 3 natin. Okay? So, ito yung isa nating point. Okay? I-plot natin yung ating graph. Ito siya. Yan. So, ito yung ating linear equation, y is equal to negative 2 third plus 6. Okay, so, ayun. Okay, so for our uh, last two examples, so we have uh, an equation here. Uh, y is equal to 2. Okay, so in this, this is linear, still linear equation. But this time, 
ang slope nito is zero. Walang given as zero. Ah, walang given as slope. Ah, slope. That's why it's zero. But we have y-intercept. Okay, so kung ipa-plot natin, yung y is equal to 2. Ito siya. Okay. And since wala tayong slope, so zero siya. Kung igagrap natin siya is ganito. Magiging horiz horizontal lang yung ating graph. Kagaya nung na-discuss natin kanina. Okay? Kagaya nung na-discuss natin kanina, kapag ang m is equivalent to zero, ang graph natin is horizontal line. Okay? So, what if naman, we have linear equation like this. x is equal to 5. Okay? So, undefined yung ating slope. And wala ding y-intercept. So, ipa-plot natin itong x uh, is equal to 5 here. So, ito yung x natin. Uh, nandito yung positive 5. Okay? So, kung ipa-plot natin siya, we don't have slope, we don't have a uh, y-intercept. So, vertical naman ang magiging line natin. This one. So, ito yung ating x is equal to 5. Ito yung ating y is equal to 2. Okay? So, ayan. I hope natutunan ko paano mag ng mga linear equation using slope and y-intercept. Okay? So, yung mga examples natin is nakaayos na siya as a slope-intercept form. Okay? So, may mga equation na given na iaayos mo pa siya. I-equate mo pa. Ita-transpose mo pa. I-manipulate mo pa. Okay? So, kung hindi pa kayo familiar on how to manipulate the slope-intercept form, uh, you can watch our video about is uh, finding the uh, slope-intercept form form from a given linear equation. So, may video tayo nun. You, you can watch this first. Watch uh, the video first before this one. Kung hindi pa kayo familiar kung paano mag-ayos ng slope-intercept form kapag naka-linear equation pa siya. Okay? So, yan. That's all for now. Uh, I hope natutunan. So, kung bago kayo sa channel natin, please do like and subscribe our channel para mas updated kayo sa mga videos na i-upload natin. So, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.